All right, guys, so this is going to be a very, very impromptu video on a question we get all the time as strength and conditioning coaches. And that is, excuse me, let me fix this here. And that is, my kid needs to gain weight. All right, my kid needs to be bigger, put on muscle. My kid's small and needs to gain weight, doesn't eat right. Can you talk to my kid about eating better? My kid only eats hot dogs. All of those types of questions that are very common. And the same question I ask people all the time is like, well, is he eating enough? And they say, oh, he eats a ton, right? He eats like crazy. I can't feed him. He's eating me out of house and home. And the majority of the times when we actually start seeing people's food logs, your kids aren't eating the calories they need. They're not eating enough, okay? And if they are, they're eating garbage, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is explain to you mathematically what it looks like for your kid or your athlete to properly feel their body so they can grow muscle, gain weight, be stronger, and reach their goal. Uh, Cause I think we can tell a kid as coaches, we can tell kids all day long, you need to gain weight, you need to gain weight, you need to gain weight. But unless we give them a roadmap on how to do that, we're really setting the kid up to fail. So what we have for every kid is every kid has a metabolism, what they call a, a basal metabolic rate. And what that is, is how many calories your kid burns at rest. Just being a human being, just being a human being, they burn calories, digestion, their heart rate, um, all of that takes calories to do it. So I'm going to give you very simple math to determine that, and then very simple math to figure out how many calories your athlete needs, and then maybe we can answer some questions and start some dialogue so your kid understands and you understand that Eating to fuel an athlete's body is a full-time job, okay? Um, it takes a lot of work and a lot of preparation to reach their goals. But if they want to get to that level, then they're going to do these things, okay? So we have what we call, we talked earlier, a BMR, okay? Uh, okay. B-M-R your basal metabolic rate, okay? The best way to figure out a basal metabolic rate without having to use like all of the calculators that tell you how to do that is body weight times 10. Now, here's where we can get into a little bit of a gray area. This is for a kid who is in need of gaining muscle mass. Um, if you're a 300 pound kid that needs to lose weight, please don't do this times 10 and think that's what your BMR is because this is mostly calculated off of lean body mass. If you're overweight kid, and maybe we'll show you how to, how to lose weight too. Um, we can show you this. So your body weight times 10. So say we have a, a 200 pound kid. So his basal metabolic rate, how many calories he burns, just being a human being is going to be somewhere around, the reason I say somewhere around 2000 body weight times 10 is that your metabolism is very dynamic, okay? It's always changing from hormones to activity level to temperature. Metabolism is very dynamic. So it's plus or minus, okay? 2,000. So we got a 2,000 pound athlete. He wants to be 220 and he's going to, his basal metabolic rate is 2,000. Okay. But in able for your body to gain weight, you have to be in a surplus. Now, remember this is, this does not include activity. This does not include football practice. This does not include lifting weights. This does not include, um, you know, extra activities he does on the weekends. This is just, I'm a couch potato. I sit around, I do nothing. I burn 2000 calories. Okay. So that's what their BMR is. So remember that their BMR, the most important thing 
okay? The most important thing that we care about is total daily energy expenditure, okay? So we have total daily energy expenditure. This is how many calories does your student athlete burn with everything included, lifting weights, practice, weekend activities, um, all of that. And able to get this number, now this is a rough number, okay, because this is a very rough video, okay? A good way to do this is body weight times 1.8 to 2, okay? So let's just do a double body weight, okay? So we have a 17-year-old boy who weighs 200 pounds, okay? Um, well, let me switch that up, okay? I'm going to push for him to eat double body weight and calories, okay? So he's 200 pounds, okay? So Billy is back at 200 pounds. And Billy wants to gain weight, but he, he's got lifting three days a week and he's got practice, okay? So what we're going to do is just for a rough number, we're gonna multiply this by two, okay? All right, let's go 20, and that's 4,000. 1,000 calories that Billy burns per day, okay? Does that make sense? All right, that's 4,000 calories about that Billy's gonna burn per day. This number might be a little bit high, okay? It might be more around 3,600, okay? But for the purpose of this, we're gonna say 4,000 calories. So in able for Billy to keep 200 pounds, he's gotta be at 4,000 calories a day. If Billy eats less than 4,000, he's probably gonna lose weight. If he eats more than 4,000, he's gonna gain weight, okay? So the trick is, can we get 4,000 calories or more into Billy, okay? So for most kids, I, I say we need an extra four, 500 calories a day, okay? So based on this, okay, 200 pound kid needs to eat 4,500 calories per day to significantly make a change in how his body is going to grow and build muscle. So what we know is that we have to make this up off of protein, carbs, I don't care what your magazine says, carbs are good for you, okay? I don't care what your podcast you read or article you read in Shape Magazine. And we have fat, okay? What I'm going to ask every kid to do is to make sure they get one gram per pound of body weight and protein. So if Billy weighs 200 pounds, I need 200 grams of protein per day. And that's really all I'm going to worry about for now, okay? He can get his carbs and fats however he needs, for now, all right? For now, because we're gonna start basic, okay? So one gram per pound of body weight and shoot for 4,500 calories. Here's what everybody needs to go download on their phone. My Fitness Pal app, okay? I have a tutorial that we can use on my Fitness Pal. If you email me, I can send you that tutorial, okay? Um, so 200 grams of protein, okay? I wanna break that down, okay? If Billy needs 200 grams of protein, all right? And Billy's going to eat five meals a day. So he's five times per day. That's going to tell us that Billy needs 40 grams 
per meal. Okay? So, what I recommend kids to do is to start getting on MyFitnessPal and searching what 200 grams of protein would look like or one gram per pound of body weight would look like. Okay? They can do chicken, beef, you know, pork, turkey, or protein supplement. And we can talk about this separately. Okay? So eating properly and eating to gain weight if you're a young athlete takes a lot of time, takes a lot of preparation, takes a lot of food prep. It take, there's a learning curve here that kids are going to have to learn because what kids can't just say is, I'm just going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and hope that works. No, this is math, okay? This is pretty black and white, all right? You're either getting enough calories, enough protein, or you're not, all right? So this is a quick little breakdown. If some of you parents have specific questions, you can reach out to me. I can break this down for your athlete or your kid specifically just for them, okay? So that is what is needed, okay? There's gonna be some exceptions, all right? But the bottom line that this is gonna to have to be is I tell kids all the time, I do not handle very well the conversation of, I didn't eat breakfast because mommy didn't make food. I didn't eat lunch because mommy didn't pack lunch. I didn't eat my snack because mommy didn't pack my snack. That doesn't work for me, okay? If a kid really wants to get big, get strong, get some gains, reach their goals, they're gonna to have to 100% be accountable to their own success. Bottom line, that's it. I would not let a parent spend money on protein supplements, without a bunch of groceries, if your kid is not going to become accountable to their own success. That's a quick video on what your kid needs to do and able to gain weight. I can break this down, what it looks like in foods. I can answer specific questions, but gaining weight and getting bigger is hard. I tell people it is harder physically to gain weight and gain muscle and gain lean mass than it is to lose it. Now it's harder to lose it mentally, emotionally, but physically being able to eat enough food is the hardest game here, okay? So if you guys have any questions, feel free to get to me. We'll help you break that down, what it looks like for an athlete to make serious changes to their body. Because I've had a boatload of parents say, my kid needs to eat more or my kid needs to make changes. This is what real changes look like. Do the math. If you have a special situation, maybe your kid's super, super light or maybe your kid's heavy and needs to lose weight, we can work on stuff like that. So that's the end of the video. I know it's a little bit too long than I wanted to, but hopefully it makes sense.